My husband's mistress sent me her ultrasound and tagged me in her baby shower invitation. But they don't know that my son will inherit everything and their affair baby will inherit nothing. My name is Emily, 26, and I have a 5-year-old son. My ex-husband, 29, cheated on me with his co-worker, Bethany, 28. I was two months pregnant with our second child when I found out Bethany was going to have his child. I miscarried. My ex left the house to be with her. It's been two years since it was born. My mother-in-law has been supportive of me and has had nothing to do with my ex or his mistress and their child up until a few months Months ago, I adore my in-laws and we're extremely close. My mother-in-law and parents are the best of friends. She loves me and her grandson more than anything. This infuriates my ex-husband's affair partner. My in-laws cut contact with them straight away. Bethany was jealous that her child would never know the love of grandparents. At least her son has a father. This brings us to the problem. Unfortunately, my mother-in-law has been very ill for a while, and so she's updated her will. My ex-husband was an only child, so he would get everything. But now my son will inherit her house, villa, and money. I will receive a large portion of her money and all of her belongings. Until my son turns 18, it will be in my trust. If I pass before that, my parents will take care of it. They do not know this. The thing is, once they caught wind of her being ill, my ex-husband begged for forgiveness. The mistress started being nice towards her. She started fights and called her horrible names before and forced her to be around his baby. My mother-in-law is bedbound, but she says she wants to leave with a bang, so she'll endure this. I haven't encouraged her to do anything, and this is her choice alone. They want her money, and her son thinks he is still included in the will. He he also thinks his child will now be acknowledged by his grandmother and will also receive money. Now my mother-in-law hasn't actually said she's forgiven them. She despises her son and his mistress for tearing apart our family. She wants to reward those who deserve it and get revenge in one go. The mistress keeps on hinting on how her child will grow up and attend a great college, etc. Money involved things whenever she's around my mother-in-law. Actually, mother-in-law's niece, my cousin by marriage, has overheard her on the phone discussing what wallpaper she wants in the dining room when she moves in and how my mother-in-law has no taste whatsoever. She also mentioned how she'll finally be able to take down pictures of my son when my ex owns the house. Too bad for her. It will belong to my son. No changes will be made until my son becomes 18. It's his grandmother's home, and he should be allowed to cherish it in the way she's decorated it. I'm not really allowed to tell anyone. And though this revenge will be satisfying, I'll have to lose my mother-in-law. It's kind of a win-lose situation, and I dread the day when she'll take her last breath. She means a lot to me. I love her. She wants this for her grandson and has said that she cannot rest until she knows her son and his mistress have been punished. She wants this because her childhood was also ruined because of her father and his affair partner. She wants my son to know he was loved and will always be loved. I hope my son will always value the great women in his life. I wish he had more time with his grandmother. Edit. As for those who are angry at me for not asking my mother-in-law to include my ex's new child, I can't do anything about that. Yes, I'm happy. And that's selfish, but I'm going to put myself and my son first. That child contributed to my miscarriage and is one of the reasons why my son has not had a father for over two years. I can't change my mother-in-law's mind about him. I do pity the baby, but it's not up to me to fend for it. It's not my responsibility. I've tried talking to my mother-in-law, but she's had her whole childhood ruined because her father made his affair children his top priority. This is why she wants nothing to do with it or her son. He knows that she went through so much because of cheaters. Yet he decided to do the same to her. He has seen his grandfather favor his aunt and uncle over his mother. If this happened to you, you wouldn't be so happy about sharing yet another thing with the baby. Thank you to those who have listened to me. And I've read out the nice comments to my mother-in-law. We've had a great laugh together. 
edit. The mistress would send me photos of her ultrasounds after I miscarried, either to me or to my family. In the first envelope, she sent a letter full of the nastiest things about me, my son and my miscarried baby. She had even tagged me on social media on an account I didn't know about. It was an invitation to her baby shower. She has done plenty of disgusting and hurtful things to me regarding my miscarried baby. The people who are coming at me in the comments would not be as civil as me if anything like that happened to them. Ignoring her child is honestly the best option. I do not want my son to grow up with her son. And to those who are insulting and saying rude things about my dying mother-in-law, you are truly disgusting.